Imagine a soldier that can outrun any animal on the planet, carry hundreds of pounds with ease, see in the dark without night vision goggles, communicate telepathically with his squadron, go weeks without eating or sleeping, regenerate limbs lost on the battlefield, and be completely controlled, mind and body, by military technicians thousands of miles away. Does this sound like science fiction to you? If so, then you're not living in the real world. For many years now, the Pentagon has been feverishly competing in a secret 21st century arms race among a vast array of covert technologies that are presently under development is a new kind of soldier, a genetically modified and artificially enhanced superhuman fighting machine that will dominate the battlefields of the future. The engineering of these super soldiers is not only a top priority for the Pentagon, but for every major military force around the globe, including that of the United Kingdom, France, Germany, Russia, China, and Israel. Although the Pentagon has been intentionally feeding information to the public concerning the more innocuous and peripheral technologies under development, such as the famous Big Dog Squad support robot, which has been featured extensively in many mainstream news broadcasts, the most dynamic, dangerous, and nefarious developments have been carefully concealed deep inside black budget projects with classification so high that not even the President of the United States has the clearance to access them. These are the projects involving morally questionable procedures that private military contractors do not want obstructed in public debate. Procedures involving cross-species genetics, cybernetics, and mind control, to name a few. In his seminal book, Zenith 2016, Tom Horn writes the following concerning the race to engineer super soldiers. The United States could be forced into a large-scale species-altering output, including human enhancement for military purposes. This is based on solid military intelligence, which suggests that America's competitors and potential enemies are privately seeking to develop the same in this century and use it to dominate the U.S. if they can. This worrisome government think tank scenario is even shared by the Jasons, the celebrated scientists on the Pentagon's most prestigious scientific advisory panel, who now perceive Mankind 2.0 as the next arms race. Just as the old Soviet Union and the United States with their respective allies competed for supremacy in nuclear arms following the Second World War through the 1980s, what is now commonly known as the nuclear arms race during the Cold War, the Jasons are worried about adversaries' ability to exploit advances in human performance modification and thus create a threat to national security, wrote military analyst Noah Schachman and top Pentagon scientists fear brain-modified foes. What exactly does human performance modification mean? And what is Mankind 2.0? The answer to these questions can be defined by one term, transhumanism. In a nutshell, transhumanism refers to the pivotal transition between humanity's current evolutionary state, Mankind 1.0, to a new, transcendent, consciously evolved, post-human state, Mankind 2.0. Transhumanists advocate an intentional upgrade of our species by every and any means available, including cross-species genetic modification, i.e. human-animal hybridization, and cybernetic integration, i.e. human-cyborgization. The transhuman philosophy posits that by blending human beings with both animals and machines, we can acquire extraordinary superhuman capabilities, such as the ability to regrow lost limbs like a starfish, for example, or the ability to see in infrared with a thermal scope attachment integrated directly into the eye cavity. The moral banner of the transhumanist movement is to improve the human condition through self-enhancement. But in truth, 
The ultimate goal is not merely to improve the human condition, but to transcend it and become immortal. In other words, to apotheosize into gods. There is, of course, nothing new about this philosophy. It is the principal tenet of the oldest religion on the planet, Luciferianism. For the transhumanist, there are no moral barriers to this agenda, only technological ones, and they are falling fast. It is crucial to understand that transhumanism is not science fiction, but an unstoppable inevitability, even now manifesting into reality, through the facilitation of every major technological institution on the planet, including the U.S. Department of Defense, as author Steve Quayle notes in his mind-blowing book, Xenogenesis. One rather strange player in the push towards transhumanism is the U.S. Department of Defense's DARPA, Defense Advanced Research Project Agency. Although on paper DARPA works on military projects, in practice the agency develops much of the equipment and techniques that may prove instrumental for the creation of robotic equipment and the transformation of human beings in very profound ways. Because of its unprecedented military application, the development of a genetically enhanced cybernetic super-soldier is well underway and progressing at an alarming rate, Tom Horn explains. Having taken the lead in human enhancement studies as a U.S. military objective decades ago, DARPA saw the writing on the wall and began investing billions of American tax dollars into the Pentagon's Frankensteinian dream of super soldiers and extended performance warfighter programs. Not only has this research led to diagrams of soldiers with hormonal, neurological, and genetic concoctions implanting microchips and electrodes in their bodies to control their internal organs and brain functions, and plying them with drugs that deaden some of their normal human tendencies, the need for sleep, the fear of death, and the reluctance to kill their fellow human beings. But as Chris Floyd, in an article for Counterpunch a while back, continued, some of the research now underway involves actually altering the genetic code of soldiers, modifying bits of DNA to fashion a new type of human specimen, one that functions like a machine, killing tirelessly for days and nights on end mutations that will revolutionize the contemporary order of battle and guarantee operational dominance across the whole range of potential U.S. military employments. But far from the iconic all-American good guy portrayed in Marvel Comics' genetically enhanced super soldier Captain America, the Pentagon's real version will be a calloused, ruthless, mind-controlled killing machine capable of committing extreme atrocities without the slightest moral impediment. Evidence for this can be found in the government's intense obsession with behavioral modification and brainwashing, clearly demonstrated in the infamous CIA projects designated MKUltra and Monarch. One of the most crucial elements to engineering a functional super soldier is full compliance to every order, no matter how contrary to one's own consciousness. Skeptics will, of course, accuse me of sensationalism and over-exaggeration. But as much as their uninformed cynicism would like to object, the proof is in the pudding. And in this case, the pudding consists of a bizarre solicitation posted in 2013 by DARPA on the government's Federal Small Business Innovation Research website. The title of the solicitation reads, Advanced Tools for Mammalian Genome Engineering. The project's objective is defined as follows. Improve the utility of human artificial chromosomes, hacks, by developing new selectable metabolic markers for use in human cells, new high fidelity methods for inserting DNA constructs of at least 50,000 base pairs in length into defined genomic loci, and new methodologies for facile intercellular genome transplantation. 
What should surprise you about this stated objective is the term human artificial chromosomes, or hacks as they are called. Most people do not realize that we already have the technological platform in place through which radical alterations to the human genome can be implemented, a synthetic 47th chromosome. While there exists an extensive grocery list of known Defense Department projects relating to the engineering of super soldiers currently under development, this particular project is the most revealing as to where all of this is heading. Understand that according to the document, hacks have the capacity to contain extremely large segments of DNA, potentially up to or surpassing one million base pairs. Although this Defense Department funded project purports to be primarily concerned with the quote, development of advanced therapeutics, vaccines, and cellular diagnostics, as well as for basic biological and biomedical research, end quote, one cannot ignore the basic premise of the objective. Simply stated, the Pentagon wants the ability to make extreme modifications to the human genome via the human artificial chromosome platform. There can be no doubt that this is the beginning of the end of humanity as we know it. Reporting for SteveQuayle.com, I'm Timothy Alberino, and that's my analysis.